hello friends welcome back to my channel so today in this tutorial we are going to see how we can set up jfrog artifactory in a docker system okay so we'll be running the artifactory as a docker container so if you don't know what is the artifactory so if you have seen my previous tutorial we have spoke about this so artifactory in simple term we can say it's a uh, DevOps tool uh, which is mainly used for uh, binary management so using artifactory you should be able to save your artifacts as part of your uh, CICD delivery process okay so you can go through what is artifactory uh, uh, more information in the artifactory website so I'm not going to go deep into about that okay so by end of this tutorial what uh, you will achieve or what we will achieve is like we should be able to run the binary management system as a docker container and uh, we should be able to save the data and you should be able to integrate that to our CICD system okay so we will not be going to the CICD part we will be only running the artifactory and we will be able to uh, see the system running okay so if you haven't subscribed to my channel I would uh, request you to kindly subscribe like the video share and comment so to start uh, I have a system which is uh, in which uh, the docker is installed okay. so if I run docker version you can see I have a docker version 19.03.11 okay and uh, I have this docker also running so if I run system ctl status docker you can see the docker is running okay so uh, the point which i would like to make is like if you are new to docker okay i would request you to check my channel and i also link the docker instruction tutorial in my video description so you can check the video description so check out those links to see how you can set up docker on a CentOS machine okay or if you want to do it on windows or ubuntu there are options for that as well so you can check out my channel for more information okay so now we have the docker running so the next step is uh, we need to uh, run the container in the artifactory okay so let me show you like i don't have a uh, uh, containers running now okay so you can also check out the tutorial on uh, what are the common use docker commands uh, for uh, finding out this information okay and I don't have any uh, dead containers as well okay so uh, the first step is you need to do a download of uh, artifactory image okay so if you go to hub.docker.com you can search for artifactory but if you search you won't get any you will be able to get a lot of uh, downloads here but you will not get the actual uh, uh, image from uh, artifactory certified one okay or which is used by, by the artifactory uh, proper documentation so that is available in the docker.io so we need to download that from docker.beantray.io okay so uh, I will give you the link uh, here in the video description as well and I will also show you how we can pull the docker uh, image for artifactory okay and there are different versions of uh, different versions of uh, artifactories are available so if you see we are installing or downloading the community edition version so if you have any other version you like open source or the professional version of artifactory you can do that as well okay so um, the first step is you have to download uh, the docker image so you can use the docker pull command to download uh, the docker image now why it's completed that fast is because if I run docker images I all already have the image for uh, artifactory downloaded so that is why this download was completed very fast but in your case it may take uh, some time because this image is almost around uh, 450 megabytes so it, it may take uh, some time to download okay so now since we have the docker image ready to create the docker 
container okay so where we will be mapping the image and we'll also mention to which port uh, the container has to uh, map from the docker container and also to the host machine okay so before that we need to make some configuration or we need to create a folder which will be mapping as the volume to the artifactory okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a folder so if you see this command make the arp and this folder i'm going to create okay jfrog home artifactory war slash etc okay so i'm going to create this folder so if i run this this folder is created okay and the next thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to cd into the folder okay so if i i'm inside that folder now okay so if you see i'm inside artifactory war slash etc okay so the next step is I'm going to create a file called system.yaml okay and I'm not going to write anything in here but I just want to create a file uh, as system.yaml okay so if I go through system.yaml nothing is there but I'm going to create this file which uh, you know has to be there in the etc folder for the artifactory to be running okay and one of the main thing what now what we have to do is we have to give this uh, folder the complete ownership for the artifactory account or artifactory user okay so the user uh, uh, this is not a command let me just run the command again okay. so the command is uh, cho on hyphen r this 1030 is the artifactory user okay so we are going to give this folder the complete uh, permission uh, for this uh, user otherwise you know when we run the container uh, the artifactory will not be able to write or uh, make some changes in this folder which will uh, uh, cause the container to fail or the application to fail okay so this is the command okay now it is done ch on command is done and we also want to give the full permission so i'm going to use ch mode uh, 77 to this folder okay so now if you see uh, this folder have the full permission okay so and uh, you can see it's in the green okay and is owned by the user 1030 okay so now we are ready with the folder and uh, all the permissions now we can create the container okay so in order to create the container as usual what we do is we can run docker run okay and we are going to run in detached mode so and we are going to name the container as uh, artifactory okay and i'm going to use a volume okay which will be the folder which i have created now with the full permission and uh, we'll be mapping this folder which we spoke now which we created inside this uh, machine uh, with the full permission for 1030 user okay and we are going to map that into the slash war slash opt slash jfrog artifactory from the container okay now we are going to map the ports so we are going to map 8081 and also 8082 so here we are mapping both the local host and also container to the same port if you want to change from local host you can change the first uh, numbers difference but depending upon that when you access the application you have to change the port number okay so this uh, artifactory if you remember you there are two uh, ports one is for the gui port which is the 8082 okay so the next thing what we have to do is we have to mention the image so the image is docker.bintray.io and uh, the version is ce and i'm going to give the tag as latest okay so this is the complete command docker run hyphen d and the name artifactory we are going to map the volume to this location okay and this location if you remember we have a system.yaml file right and we have the port mapped and this is the image okay let me run this so again you know if you have not used the docker pull command if you run like this it will download uh, the image in this phase also so it is not mandatory that you need to run the docker pull for before this uh, command okay so now if i run docker p as you can see uh, the do container for artifactory is running right now i can check the uh, logs or the status of uh, this container using docker logs command okay now if you see this uh, docker logs if the container is still running or it's still getting created so we have to wait okay 
so you can see the task are still running so we need to wait for this to be completed so let's wait okay so I think uh, the whole process is completed you can see it's finished so now we can access the artifactory using the IP address of this machine and the port number 8082 slash UI okay so I'm going to use the IP address which will be 130 and the 8082 and the UI okay so you can see the web page is loading so you can see that we are in the artifactory so now we have we can log in with the username and password so the default uh, username is admin and the password is password so you can type the username as admin and the password as password okay. and you click on login so you will be getting in this screen because this is a community edition it is asking us to get started okay so it will ask you to change the password so you can type a new password okay and uh, if you want to give some base url you can give that uh, i'm going to skip this screen and i'm also skipping the proxy settings okay and i'm going to use this uh, normal uh, generic offerings which is a free one okay and i'm going to click next and i'm going to click on finish okay so now this is the default uh, login page for artifactory so uh, if you have seen artifactory before this is how it will be on the left side you can see the application section so you should have the dashboard where it talks about topology trends and stuff and we have this uh, packages build artifacts here okay and uh, it is only repository now available so we don't have anything over here and we have a distribution pipeline and section and if you go here in the administration you have repositories so if you go to repositories you can create new repositories here okay you can click on new local repository and i'm going to use the generic one and i'm going to give a name i'm going to name it as uh, test okay and uh, i'm going to click on save and finish so now if you see i have one more repository for test right and if you go back to your artifacts and uh, no, you have also test here okay so here you can upload the artifacts uh, as well and uh, in the administration section you can also use the users groups and other permissions where you can control the access level and you have also ldap authentication and other access if you want to set proxy you can do it here and uh, you have uh, options to see what is the storage uh, uh, levels and uh, how much data is used or how much space is left in your uh, server okay so i think this gives given you a good uh, information on uh, what uh, what is artifactory dashboard looks like right and uh, we have seen uh, how the artifactory can be run as a docker container right so if you see uh, docker ps we have this uh, artifactory docker container running right and if you go to the volume which uh, we have mapped if you see you can see now uh, other than system.yaml there are other files also getting got created right so these are the files from the artifactory container okay so that all uh, for this tutorial so i hope uh, it's uh, informative for you and i would uh, thank you for watching and uh, i would also request you subscribe to my channel like this video share and comment